juicier meat. Guys, we got so much good stuff. We can't wait to show you at home. This bag is full of amazing bull tongue and a special treat for dessert, which I cannot live without. <laughs> when I see it, I gotta grab it. Isn't that right? That is so right. we will show you at home. I'm very excited. My name is Matteo and this is Misha and we are the Global Expats. Today you're getting a taste, literally a taste, of our lifestyle portion of our channel and we are going to be discussing biltong, one of South Africa's favorite snacks. But before we dive in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, when I came to South Africa with Matteo pretty much exactly three years ago to the day, and he kept saying, oh, you gotta try all the South African foods and everything, bulletong is one of my favorite things. And I'm like, bulletong? And he's like, yeah, you gotta try bulletong, you gotta try bulletong. And he has an accent, right? So like, sometimes things can get lost in translation. This whole time I'm thinking he wants me to try like the bull, like the tongue of a bull. Bull tongue. I'm thinking bull tongue. Like, I don't want to eat the tongue of a bull. Like, I was like, okay, and I was just trying to be polite because we like, just started dating. This whole time I'm freaking out until we get there and then I find out that it's not the tongue of a bull. It's not the tongue of a bull. But this, like, yeah, I was like, I was panicked because I love meat, but that was just like a step too far. So what actually is biltong? It is not the tongue of a bull, I can tell you that much. Biltong is actually a Dutch word, or it's a combination of Dutch word, bull and tong. Bull means buttock or rump and tong means strip. So essentially a strip of meat. In its simplest form, biltong is a lean meat that is salted and dried in strips. It can come from a variety of proteins, such as fish, chicken, ostrich, game, and beef. Beef is the most dominant nowadays because it is easily accessible and more affordable. Biltong originated in Southern Africa a couple centuries ago. It was a way to preserve meat when you're traveling or migrating. The way it's preserved is because it's marinated in vinegar. After it's been marinated, the spices are then added, such as salt, pepper, coriander, cilantro, cilantro, that's the one, and cloves. The 
cloves and the coriander mixed with the pepper it kills any bad bacteria that's in your gut when it's consumed. So what is the difference between biltong and jerky? And I know the South Africans watching this are already screaming inside their heads saying biltong is not jerky. And you're totally right, but I'm going to tell you why they are different. So the only similarity between them is that they are both dried meats. However, the process to which they are made and how they taste are completely different. So biltong in its basic form is a raw steak. It is then cut into strips and hung on hooks to air dry for around a week. Yeah, and depending on how long it's on the hook air drying is going to depend on how wet or dry the meat is. So Mateo will show you, um, he's picking ones. a good piece. Ooh, that's a good one. So these ones are more wet, as you can see, and this allows for more rare option for people that like more rare steak. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the dry one. So this, this has been hanging for a longer period of time. More well done as your yeah. steak. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the reason that the meat can air dry and still be edible uh, without you getting sick is because, uh, like Mateo mentioned, when they put the vinegar on it and all the spices, it essentially cures the meat as it air dries. Um, so don't worry, like <laughs> you won't get sick. You can eat this. It is, it, it's kind of a bizarre concept, but um, it is delicious. It is, it's delicious. It's so good. It really is. I thought I wanted it dry because I thought the wet one was a little bit weird. I was like, isn't that like, it's really raw. But when you eat it, it's actually delicious. I actually prefer More the wetter pieces. They're also like, they're just, the moisture is better, I think. And because Bultang has a higher fat percentage than jerky, it allows for juicier meat. So, I mean, no matter which one you choose, it's so good, it's gonna be good. So the reason that jerky is not the same as Bultang is because it contains less fat and they actually cut it into thin slices before they dehydrate it for about three to 12 hours. So all of these factors contribute to its overall drier taste. So the key difference, Biltong is hung and air dried while jerky is either cooked on a rack or smoked. Biltong is never smoked or cooked. So aside from Biltong's mouth-watering succulent flavors, the reason that we absolutely love it is that it's high in protein and low in carb, making it suitable for paleo, ketogenic, and low carb diets. So what do we actually have in front of us? So as I said earlier, this is the more wet, more rare traditional biltong, and this is the more dry, more well done biltong. On the left, we have, how would you explain it? Well, it's like, it's like biltong dusted in chili. I actually haven't tried this one yet. I usually only have one of these two. So I was really excited when she had this because I want to give it a try actually. Let's they call them chili chips. They yeah. So it's like, it's a drier piece. Yeah, it definitely feels drier. Um, dusted in chili, let's see. I wish it's not too hot. The whole thing. <laughs> She's chewing, she's getting there. It is a bit oh, harder. it's good. No, it's good. Okay, it is a bite to like mm. at the end. There's definitely a bite to this one. But it's good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That was really, really good. So here comes the more embarrassing part. Over here, we have two dried sausages. That's not the funny part, okay? So, <laughs> so this, this is dry horse. It is actually called an Afrikaans name. Drua Droe Vors. Dro, dro. Fun fact, he failed Afrikaans in high school. Yeah, I did. To this day. <laughs> it's a thin dried sausage. Thin dried sausage. It's the best and, kind, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and on the right, this is called kabanosi. It is a Polish sausage from what I understand. And is also thin and dried, but it's smoked. So it has a more smoky flavor. I don't think I've ever tried this one. Let's see. Break it off. Okay, break it off. Oh, you can. Okay. Ooh. It's more, okay. more chewy. Oh, wait, there's like two here. That's so good. Why haven't I had that before? Mmm, guys. This one's so good. Do I go? I the whole thing. It's like a beef jerky. Then I go try to drive this one. Just get it the drive one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mmm. I'll just take that one. This is weird. Now I feel like I'm playing with my food. 
Mm. That one's good too. But this one definitely has more flavor. Smoky, smoky. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like the smokiness of this. But if you don't like smoky, I would definitely say you probably have to do this one. Mm. So I told you guys in the beginning of the video that we grabbed an extra treat that I always get when I see it because I love it. And it is a cook sister. I'm probably totally butchering that. And Afrikaans is probably better than mine. <laughs> Probably. It's also Afrikaans though, so a <laughs> cook told. sister in English, <laughs> cook sister. Yes, so basically it is a deep fried dough ball Bowl. that is so ribbon. ribbon, yeah it's like a twisty, deep fried dough and it's soaked in syrup, like I don't know if you can tell, that I is like, that is soaked, actually yeah, I should, oh my gosh. I'm so excited, oh wait okay you can there get half, oh so, that's so good, pretty much the inside Look at that. is like Pure syrup. It's so good. It's like my favorite dessert. Mm. Still as good as the first Look time. Look at that. I mean, there, it's so moist. <laughs> I hate that word. Just moist. liquid. <laughs> it's, just, it's just syrup. But you know what? I have such a big sweet tooth. So mm. they had it at the Bolton place. I could not pass it up. It's so good. So when this lockdown ends, feel free to come and have some biltong and a beer with us. But until then, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you later, friends.